Stand by for action. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Good morning everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and welcome to my channel. Finally something arrived for Christmas and it is the 29th of December, uh, 2022 of course, so not long until the new year. But this is the only package out of, what, another four that I purchased way, way before December. Hoping they'd arrive for Christmas and they didn't, but this one has. Slight damage on it, as you can probably see, just by looking. I don't want to take that away, because if I do, you'll see what's in it. That isn't just the outer box, the inner box is also creased and dented. Um, as you can obviously see, it's from Motion RC and it is a free wing model. Shall we get it open and see what's inside? Yeah, well there it is, the A6E Intruder 80mm EDF jet. Uh, it's been around a long time. I haven't been ready for it until now. I believe I am ready for it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to give it a go. But it looks like it will just be a summer model. The reason I say that is because I think the nose wheel is a little small. Although I will say that this one, this particular one, is the high performance model. So it's got an uprated uh, motor, speed controller. Looking at the stats down in that corner, uh, yeah, if you could look at the bottom there, forget about the wingspan and the fuselage length, but the takeoff weight for this is basically 1.9 kilograms. Let's arguably say it's 2 kilograms. The thrust from this upgraded performance model is 3.4 kilograms, and that of course means it's got a greater than 1 to 1 power to weight ratio. It should perform really well. There's two versions of this, there's a standard version and this version. Let's open this box up and see what we've got inside. Well, as you can see, it's really well packed. Uh, here's the manual and it's got this warning on it. I don't know what this is. This is warning, working voltage of electrical parts. I didn't think this had any LEDs in it, but it's got red LED light, LED light control box. This might be just something that's standard. I don't think it had LEDs. So anyway, we'll look at that in a minute. Quickly look through the manual. Again, with anything free wing, you'll notice it gives instructions as if you've got to build everything, put the servos in, connect the horns, glue everything, and you don't. It's already done for you. But you will notice the reason that box is so short, because the fuselage actually comes in two parts. It's got the front section and a tail section. See it being joined here. We won't go through all this in detail. I mean, there they've even got a breakdown of the landing gear. Uh, it's got all the main stuff in centre of gravity being shown. I'm not sure I like it when they show it as a single point in the centre of the aircraft, but they have brought it out here. And it goes from the air intake back it's, uh, what is it? Wow, it's way back, 265 to 280 millimetres back from the air intake. Yeah, um, yeah control throws. I've already got low and high rates. I'll stick a medium in there when I set it all up. They've got the positioning of the tail plane because it's an all moving, is it? Yeah, it's an all moving. Um, Elevator, tailplane. They show you a line mark where you've got to have it angled for level flight. A good manual. English, pages 1 to 14. Chinese, 15 to 28. Got these two parts. We've actually got magnets. And I guess they've got to go under the wing so you can attach and detach your... Uh, fuel tanks. Yeah, they're just foam, well painted. 
We've got a mould mark on it, 16. But there you go. Ah, wow, what a brilliant looking wing. Look at that. Wow, I mean, it's not large. Take a look at this side. So it's lovely painting, grey, white paint, not just white foam. Decal, looks like a water decal. It's not, uh, it's not sticky on one. Good moulding panels. You can see where the wing is supposed to hinge up for the aircraft carrier. It has Fowler flaps. That's what this type of flap's called. That goes into the wing there. They're called Fowler flaps, if I remember correctly. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So that's good. Plastic mouldings there. Obviously where you screw in. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. What I can't get over, what I said wow for, is that is your flap. All of that. That bit is your aileron. <laughs> what? But it's a, it's a proven flyer. It's been proven to be okay. Let's look at this. This is really nice. This has what I call T-hinges. So it's got two real hinges in there as well as your foam hinge. So even if that foam goes, you've got two solid normal hinges in there. Very nice. Um, horns already glued in. Clevis push rod servos already in place. Plates covering them, so you should be able to take them out easily if you need to. And do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to wire... I didn't think it had lights. I'm going to wire lights into this. It's going to be so easy using this channel here. Let's look at this big flap. It's a big flap. Look at that. One, two, three, four hinges. Very nice. Uh, again, the horn, clevis, piece of fuel tubing around it to keep it shut, push rod, servos already in there. This is, oh, it's got another one. So this looks like the place where you mount something that will hang from under the wing. Uh, wheels, there's no wheel cover. But they look okay, they, they're sprung, so they are sprung, aluminium here, it's a bit wobbly, look at that, bloody hell. In fact, this has got a pin sticking out there, that might be where it's supposed to be, I don't know. But that is wobbly. Still... We'll know when we build it, won't we? But that's nice, it looks nice, it looks good. What do we have here? Oh yeah, we've got landing gear, aileron and flaps. This flap is loose as well, look at that. Well, this might need a bit more... Oh. Okay, it's loose at the horn. Yeah, interesting. Actually, it lies down a bit. We shall see. Now, for the price I paid, it came with a real bargain. You get two wings. <laughs> I mean, very, very roughly. Oh, that one's worse. Look at that. Oh, I didn't get this on the camera. Look at this. That is dreadful. That's better. There's no give on that one. But it's... 
Yeah. Yeah, that's much better. That wing needs work on for the flap and this undercarriage. I mean, I don't know. I'm not happy with that at all. I'm going to give them a call, I think. Motion RC. I've got it from Motion RC. Bit disappointing on the quality of those. Can't really go wrong with these. This is the tailplane on one of them. Nice dense foam though. It is nice dense foam. Painted really well. You can hardly tell it is foam. And of course this is all moving so this basically goes on to a rod and then you then secure it through there and the whole thing moves. And I've got two of them. Again, the decals look like water stencils, which will be okay as long as they don't start peeling off. Now that has got magnets in it. Uh, I won't be flying it with these. It costs too much drag. Right, we've got the second level of this packaging. And we've got some other bomb torpedo things, fuel tanks. Interestingly enough, this centre tank has a different mounting than these wing tanks. So these pieces that I showed you at the very beginning are for the wing tanks. There's a good firm grip. Oh my god, they're not coming off easily. But they clip on there. This is obviously glued in to the wing. It does allow you to play submarines. No, 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 I keep doing that every time I do this. But it does allow you to give it a tug and take it off just before flight, leaving this piece on the wing. Yeah, so let's just put that one like that. This one, however, obviously isn't for these. This has a different connection. Still on magnets, so I'll hang on to that. And we'll uh, take a look at it later. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, here's the second wing tank. I don't know if these are left or right, but they obviously got the polarity of the magnets right, which is good. They're very nice. They're well moulded. This is a piece of ply, I think. Yeah, a bit of ply on the end there. So there are your wing tanks. Yeah. Wow, this is nice. Wow, 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 wow. Not sure I like the rudder. But if that's what they had, that's what they had. Uh, right, well, one side is good as another. Something's come off here, or something needs gluing here. I'm not sure what that is. But there's definitely something missing there. Um, but the rest of this looks okay. Strong plastic piece here and here. This is where it goes into the rear of the fuselage, of course, and then screws go in. It's got the servo connector here for your rudder. Rudder servo already in. Decals, transfers, actually. These are water transfers already in place. Even over... Yeah, they are over the servo cover, but they are cut. So someone's taken time to put that on, screw that in, cut those. That's quite nice. Horn, clevis, everything's already in place. Again, it's got the little bit of fuel tubing and there's no movement in that at all. The movement is coming from the servo and I've just noticed the rudder servo is... I don't know if I'm going to be able to trap it. It's metal geared. I'll check the others more closely. Metal gear servo on that. And of course, one, two, three, real hinges, as long with your compressed hinge. So that's double safe. There you, are, you can see the comp compressed hinge there, and then you've got the hinge for your three hinges. Not much movement on the rudder, so I suppose it needs it. It does look nice though, except for this bit, I'm not keen on that. All right, let's look at the goodie bag, because it answers a lot of questions. They provide you with the kingboxer.net glue. King Boxer. It's good glue, really is good glue. I'm going to use it to build this. Got a couple of clevises, and they have a bit of tubing around them. 
Here's that piece for the tail plane, the fin, sorry. Um, it glues on where that foam was. It's a big pointy thing that's going to get broken off really easy, I think. Um, there's a black piece here. It fills out, it's made out of hard plastic. That's a fuel probe that will get glued on somewhere. And there's a bit of foam. It looks like some sort of air intake. Just there, there's your fuel probe. There are the bags of mixed screws. Crosshead screws, not really keen on that. Not happy with those, really. And it actually lists them here. Quite a short wing spar. Don't know if it's carbon. It looks carbon with the light on it, but it might just be fiberglass. Oh wow, look at this. This is wonderful. A bit short, but wonderful. Look at that. It's a foam nose. One of these things here, don't know what that is. Air intakes. They're all foam, there's no plastic protecting them. Big EDF unit in there. Not going to be able to see it. Big unit. Is nice, nice decals. You can see the wing mounts here where you push your wing in and you screw into those from the top. Aileron flaps and gear. Got that on either side, you got the same there. And then what have we got down here? Oh, that's better. Look at that, that's a hunky bit of metal. So the motor itself doesn't spin. That is some unit in there. I don't know if you can get in there and see it. I mean the structure itself has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight supports just in the structure. And that's not even looking at the blades. Here's your cheek holes. Wow, unfortunately you can't see any of this. It's got a massive speed controller in there. My goodness. I think that is a 100 amp speed controller, if I remember correctly. I can't read it because it's covered up where it's mounted. Uh, nose retracts, they are little wheels. As I said, it'll probably be a summer job. And they are a bit loose, you know, they feel a bit wobbly, I'll have to check that out. But there you go. There it is, that's where that tank goes. So this is where that tank goes. Yeah, there like that. And that comes off. And this is, of course, where the fuselage joins. Uh, it's glued together once it's joined, it doesn't come apart. Let's take a look inside. Oh, that's a cockpit, isn't it? Look at that. It's also got good instrumentation, a lot of instrumentation on the front of it. It'd be great if I could get another one of these at a good price. And I'll just take half of it out and put a camera in there. That's that's wonderful. And many, many, many wires. Look at that. My God. It's got elevator, landing gear, all the usual stuff, flaps, ailerons, rudder. Goes to the speed controller. What does that one say? That's your rudder. This I don't like. 
Mm. Was it EC? I can't remember what they are. It's not an EC5, it's the bigger one. Oh, no, it is, it is an EC5. A strap there, free wing branded strap for your battery. Doesn't look very big in there, loads of space up front, but I can almost guarantee you we're going to have to have our battery back here. And maybe the RX up the front, who knows. And see in there you've got your steering servo, which is connected to the rudder. And it all collapses up nicely. Don't know how strong it will be. But it is loads gear. So let's put that down there for now. Put that up there. It's got two pins. Don't know if you picked up on that. It's got a plastic plate here with two pins on it. That go into two holes here on a plastic plate. And then it just snaps shut. It's very nice. Well, here's tail end Charlie. That's just the back end of it. Uh, what have we got? We have three wires. There's one tucked right the way in there. Uh, you've got your rudder. Whatever these two are. I don't know what those two are. What are those two? What's this? Oh blimey, look, that comes off. For your elevator. So it's got one... Uh, what's that doing there like that? Have to watch this. What's that? That's your rudder. Oh, I see. You connect your rudder onto this piece here. But you can see here you've got two servos on a plate. One of those servos is connected to a horn on the underside of your shaft. This shaft is for your elevator. And then the other servo is connected to the top side. That's very, very clever. I and mean, it's tight, man. There's no giving that at all. I love this. So you can get at it. And that just goes on there. And it's got three screws holding it in place. This is glued in. So once these are connected up, you have to treat this, glue it, and use these rods to guide it in. Yeah, very nice. There we are. Looking forward to having this at the field and flying it. Yeah, I like that. I don't know how scale it is, but it looks scale to me. It looks good. And as I said earlier, it's supposed to fly really well. USS Forrestal. Isn't that the one where they had the huge fire on board? I think there's lots of video, black and white video of it. I think a plane drops a rocket or something, it fires across the deck, or a missile. It fires across the deck and hits another aircraft, sets out on fire. Forrestal. I think that's the aircraft carrier that suffers a lot. Lots of people died actually, and lots of lessons were learned. But that's not what this is about. This is about my A6E Intruder by Freewing 80mm EDF. Runs on a 6S and you get about three and a half, four minutes on it. No more than that. But it's big and big flies well. That's something I've learned. If it's a big plane, it should fly well. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay well. I look forward to you coming and joining me on some other videos soon. Do leave a comment about what you think. Cheers.